Hello Matrix. Today let's embark on a fascinating journey through space and explore the monumental concept of building a Dyson Sphere. But first, what is a Dyson Sphere? These are theoretical objects that encapsulate the Sun in order to harness the energy of the star. But how can we possibly build one of these? Stay tuned and watch the whole video, because by the end of this, you'll have a fresh perspective on how we, as a civilization, could theoretically reach for the stars in quite a literal sense. The Dyson Sphere, a captivating thought experiment first proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960, is essentially a colossal structure built around a star designed to capture and utilize all of its energy output. Can you imagine the kind of resources needed for such an undertaking? Well, according to science journalist Jaime Green in her new book The Possibility of Life, we'd need to disassemble a planet, and not just any planet, but a behemoth like Jupiter, to accumulate the necessary material for a Dyson sphere. This mind-bending idea not only challenges our understanding of what's possible with technology and energy consumption, but also poses intriguing questions about the nature of advanced civilizations, both human and potentially extraterrestrial. Just think about it. If we or any advanced civilization were to build a Dyson sphere, we would transition from a type 1 to a type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale. For those not familiar with this concept, the Kardashev scale is a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the amount of energy they can utilize. Type 1 civilizations can harness all the energy available on their planet, while Type 2 civilizations can harness all the energy from their star. Check the links below for our video on the Kardashev scale. Now let's think about how a civilization could accomplish this gargantuan task. It would most likely have to be a gradual development when it comes to a mega structure like this. A Dyson sphere, or a swarm of energy capturing satellites, could be built piece by piece over generations. After generations. After generations. Similar to how nations, cities, highways, and civilizations are built. Now, this might seem like something straight out of a science fiction novel. And indeed, the concept of Dyson spheres and similar mega structures have been explored extensively in science fiction literature and media. Yet the scientific principles behind them are completely valid, rooted in our understanding of astrophysics and technological advancement. And there's even more to it. As the science of astrobiology advances, astronomers are not only contemplating the possibility of building Dyson spheres, but also scanning the cosmos for signs of such megastructures. Why, you ask? because spotting a Dyson Sphere could very well be an indication of extraterrestrial intelligence at work. Let's put our imagination hats on for a moment and consider this. If we're thinking about building a Dyson Sphere, then why wouldn't other intelligent beings in the universe have thought about, or even already done, the same? This concept, known as the Fermi Paradox, is another topic that has been explored in both scientific and sci-fi circles. The odd part is that we haven't detected any alien signals yet, and that is the premise of the Fermi paradox. The idea of utilizing Jupiter, or any celestial body of such magnitude, for constructing a Dyson sphere, raises significant questions about our future in space exploration and colonization. How would such an enormous undertaking affect our solar system's dynamic? How would it influence our philosophy about the cosmos and our place within it? And most importantly, this is going to involve massive amount of planetary mining on an unprecedented scale. It will likely consume an entire planet or two. How would we manage the potential ethical, social and environmental implications of literally deconstructing a planet for resources? Building a Dyson sphere using Jupiter, or any celestial body for that matter, is currently beyond our technological capabilities. But in a theoretical sense, let's explore how it could potentially be done. First is the acquisition of raw materials. The first step would be to acquire the necessary materials. Jupiter, being the largest planet in our solar system, is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with traces of other elements like methane, water, ammonia and rock. To extract these materials, we would need advanced mining and extraction technologies, some of which do not yet exist. Next is the disassembly and processing step. Once we have the ability to extract resources from Jupiter, the planet would need to be disassembled in a controlled manner. The extracted elements would then be processed and converted into usable materials for the construction of the Dyson Sphere. This would require advanced manufacturing techniques, 
capable of operating in the harsh conditions of space. Next would be the construction phase. Building the Dyson Sphere itself would be a monumental task. Imagine an enormous network of energy harvesting devices, such as solar panels, completely enclosing the sun. By the time a Dyson Sphere could be built, there will be significantly more efficient harvesting devices than the current solar panels we see today. The structure would have to be stable and resistant to the sun's gravity and intense radiation. This would involve building the Dyson Sphere in sections or units. It would make sense that most of the work would be use of automated, artificial intelligence, self-replicating robots or drones, that can do most of the work full-time assembling the Dyson Sphere around the sun. Next would involve energy conversion and transmission. The Dyson Sphere's purpose is to capture and convert the sun's energy into a usable form. This would likely involve some kind of advanced photovoltaic cells, or the likes of it, specifically for converting sunlight into electricity, thermoelectric devices for converting heat into electricity, and possibly even devices for harnessing the sun's particle emissions, solar wind. To create a solar panel or a similar energy harvesting device, certain specific materials are needed. Here are a few that could theoretically be sourced from Jupiter. First is likely silicon. Modern solar panels are predominantly made of silicon. While Jupiter doesn't contain large quantities of silicon, it's theoretically possible that silicon could be extracted from the rock and metal compounds believed to be present in Jupiter's core. This extraction would likely require advanced technology and processes that we currently do not possess. Primary resource from Jupiter would be hydrogen, so there needs to be some energy harvesting device that can make use of this. However, while hydrogen isn't directly used in the construction of solar panels, it could be used as a fuel for nuclear fusion reactors if we eventually develop efficient and compact fusion technology. Jupiter, with its abundance of hydrogen, could serve as a massive fuel depot for such reactors. As for the other elements, depending on the exact composition of Jupiter's core and the technological advances we make in the future, other elements might be extractable that could be used in new energy harvesting technologies. For instance, if we develop quantum solar cells, we could potentially use other elements, like phosphorus or aluminum, which may exist in Jupiter's core. The captured energy would then need to be transmitted wirelessly to where it's needed, either through microwave beams or some other advanced method. Next is the maintenance and expansion of the sphere. Once operational, the Dyson sphere would need to be maintained and possibly expanded. This could involve a swarm of autonomous repair drones, which would fix damage and add new sections to the sphere as necessary. Keep in mind, these steps are highly speculative and based on our current understanding of physics and engineering. Building a Dyson sphere would be a tremendous task requiring technology far beyond what we currently possess. Nevertheless, it's a fascinating idea that pushes the boundaries of our understanding of what's possible with advanced technology and space exploration. Let's talk about another facet of this whole Dyson Sphere concept. If we take the idea of a civilization harnessing the energy of a star to its logical extreme, we might end up with something like a Dyson Sphere, but in reverse. Instead of enclosing a star to capture its energy, what if we built a megastructure to contain a black hole and harness the energy from its event horizon? This is another idea that has been explored in both scientific theory and science fiction. Black holes, as you might know, are regions of spacetime exhibiting gravitational acceleration so strong that nothing, no particles or even electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it. They're among the most mysterious and fascinating phenomena in the universe. If we could somehow harness the energy of a black hole, we'd be taking a step beyond even a type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale. These questions might seem overwhelming, even unfathomable, but contemplating them, is a part of our journey toward understanding the universe and our potential future within it. We've journeyed far and wide today, from the imagined megastructures encompassing stars to the formidable, awe-inspiring phenomena of black holes. Do you think humanity will ever reach the point of constructing such a megastructure? And if so, what might it mean for our future? Well, thank you WS Matrix. This concludes our thrilling exploration of Dyson spheres and the astronomical concept of harnessing energy on a cosmic scale. It stretches our understanding of what might be possible as we look towards our future in the stars. So Matrix, what do you think about the concept of a Dyson sphere? Could it be our future? 
or do you think it will remain in the realm of theory and science fiction? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that comment section below and let us know. Also, if you enjoyed our dive into the cosmic conundrums of Dyson Spheres, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Here on WS Matrix, we're all about exploring the fascinating crossroads of science and artificial intelligence, pushing the boundaries of our understanding, and taking you along for the ride. Until next time, keep looking up.